I welcome you back to the Dobrynik channel and today we are going to be talking about Lake Mead We're going to talk about Lake Powell and we're going to talk about the extensive drought in California Wow, it's just been terrible and reservoirs are drying up and it's just sad 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 We'll be out in Lake Oroville. We'll look at Lake Shasta as well And without further ado, we're gonna roll right over to windy.com and we're gonna start in California And you can clearly see as we scoot into California here that there is no rain in the next three days the next next five days and the next 10 days very little rain you got 0 0.18 in the next 10 days and that's pushing it that's still 10 days away you can clearly see that it's not as hot as it once was Chico over here 89 Yuba City 86 Sacramento 79 and Santa Rosa 68 San Francisco 62 it's not as miserable as it was but Fresno down here is 95 you can see that Bakersfield's 97 it's probably the hot spot Indio 98 that's your hot spots 91 and Lake Havasu 91 and I have a subscriber from down there hello and 91 in Vegas 86 in St. George you can see that it's starting to cool off in the Grand Junction is only 64 degrees and this is the next 10 day forecast you got an inch there and up here you got 1.42 which is not terrible any rain is good rain and the drought has subsided just a little bit in these areas especially in Arizona over here at Flagstaff they're getting six tenths of an inch up here 0 0.26 and you can see that the drought is really starting to subside quite a bit and that is good news now if the drought would just subside over here in the west we'd be great if they were getting what they're getting up here in Alaska that would be fantastic but unfortunately they're not so like they're getting 6.5 look at this 10.4 if the atmospheric river would hit California like that that would be great but unfortunately that is just not happening this dominant high pressure that has been dominating since February it's just been non-stop there is a monster hurricane out here in the Atlantic luckily it doesn't look like it's going to hit the United States as they got it predicted to get pushed up the East Coast and not hit the states but it's really early this thing was massive yesterday let's go to the satellite and I'll show you what I'm talking about this thing right here this was massive we'll hit the last 12 hours and you can see this massive tropical system that's been spinning here this thing's gonna be a monster now let's just hope that it does get pushed up this way but it's already developing an eye and that's just incredible for as early as it is I mean it's just barely off of Africa it's not even halfway across and it's getting bad so we'll be watching that as well Ida just came up here here's the remnants of it and then you got all this over here so California really doesn't have anything everything's getting pushed up the Pineapple Express is getting pushed up into Alaska and they do have this little disturbance here causing some rain over here in Wyoming which is much needed South Dakota North Dakota over here they're getting rain as well so this is good you can tell the higher tops are right here but not much going on here in California or Oregon or Washington for that matter got a big low pressure up here the driver of this moisture getting pushed up you can see it this all is getting pushed up from this high pressure up here in Canada that's causing lots of moisture being sucked up from the Pacific there let's roll over and check out the reservoirs down here and we're gonna see what the water levels are at Oroville and Shasta and see how far they have dropped some of these lakes have even dried up I've seen several reports on it and that's just it's just a sad sad situation this thing's barely dropping now as it's only dropping 0 0.4 feet as yesterday it dropped 0 0.7 it's slowing down quite a bit it was 631 August 24th and today is September 1st and it is 630.61 and that was today's water level and this was taken September 1st 2021 at 4 p.m. and the level is currently 269.39 feet below full pool of 900 and let me tell you if you go look at some other youtubers uh, videos as I did the day before Lake Orville looks like a river now where the river used to be because there's no lake there no more and it just looks all dirt and there's no vegetation obviously because nothing's growing this is sad let's go check out Shasta and see what's going on at Lake Shasta currently 
Okay, we are at Lake Shasta. Water level is 904.78 feet. This was taken Wednesday, September 1st, 2021 at 3 p.m. The level is 162.22 feet below full pool of 1067. And the chain, this is a slow decline. As compared to where it was in 2019 on this date, it was at 1034.58. So a lot of water has came out of the reservoir since then over 100 feet in that span of time and it continues to fall it's down 0.12 feet and this is Shasta now Shasta is still fairly full it is probably one of the fuller lakes in California yet to this date besides Lake Tahoe which probably has the most water by far so let's roll over to Lake Powell and see where the water levels are today at that we are at Lake Powell the last reading at the water level was August 31st 2021 and the level was 3,548.96 feet last time this elevation was within two inches of this was April 24th 1969 so that tells you how much the lake has dropped it is just continuing to drop continuing to be depleted continuing to fall and the snowpack is 30 percent according to this as of September 1st and soon that should start to rise as we're getting closer to the fall season and the snow will start hitting the mountains before too much longer total precipitation is 81 percent of average Lake Powell is is currently 416.96 feet deep at the dam. Lake Powell is 151.0 feet below full pool of an elevation of 3,700. By content, Lake Powell is 30.88 of full pool, 24,322,000 acre feet. Currently Lake Powell has 2.447 trillion gallons of water in the lake incredible and it's only got 30 percent so you do another 70 percent that thing can hold them a lot of water now this is not working today which is kind of weird but it does say that lake powell is down 50.76 feet from one year ago today lake is at a low for water year and down 46.87 feet and you guys got to remember the water year ends at the end of this month September 30th the last 14 measurements at Lake Powell the lake is down 1.60 feet over these measurements and this is just terrible you can see some of the other dates how generally this time a year Lake is on the rise not the fall so there you have it we're gonna go to Lake Mead next by the way people were asking about Lake Havasu and I'll go to that in Mojave down here in Strawberry Reservoir and it shows all the, all the reservoir Flaming Gorge Blue Mesa Lake Navajo Lake Powell Lake Mead Lake Mojave Lake Havasu Strawberry Reservoir we are currently at Lake Mead water database the water database for the last 336 uh, 365 days so we're getting down to 30 days left water year 2021 we are 92 percent through the water year lake reading 1067.96 feet on august 31st 2021 lake mead is 151.64 feet below pool of elevation of 1219.60 feet by content lake mead is 34.93 percent of full pool they're released totals are 97.02 of the minimum required of 9 million acre feet and that should drop next year if I'm not mistaken with new regulations and Lake Mead is down 16.08 feet from one year ago today Lake Mead is up 0.45 feet from the low for the water year so there you have it and in the last 14 measurements the lake is actually on the rise by 0.43 feet so that's really good news to hear will take any precipitation long as it's not dropping like at Lake Powell this is all good news not incredible news we're not jumping or nothing like that but that's what we got going on here and I'm gonna go down to Lake Havasu because people have been asking about Lake Havasu and here you have it today is 336 of 365 for the water year of 2021 we are 92% through the water year just like I said the last reading in Lake Havasu was 447.51 on August 31st 2021 2021 Lake Havasu is 2.49 feet below full pool of an elevation of 450 so there you have it by content Lake Havasu is 92.12 percent of full pool of 619 1,400 acre feet. The inflows are 8.2 million acre feet and Lake Havasu is down 0.52 feet from one year ago and over the last 14 days 
Lake Havasu is down 0.62 feet over these measurements. And there you have it. That is really all I have for today. I will leave this link down below because some people were asking about it where they can find information about Lake Havasu. And there you have it. You guys have a blessed day and we'll see you on the next one.